Welcome back, and I want to cover um, the book that I was reading for Sunday. For Sunday School for Kids, we're going to cover it on Monday, for Monday School for Kids. And if you um, can't get your kids to eat vegetables, buy them a smoothie. Um, I don't know if I can show it, but buy them a smoothie of green vegetables and something like this. It's like, just go to the store. Um, it's like Green Machine Booster, uh, no sugar added uh, by Naked. Just buy that. It's so good. So, it's giving me some energy that I didn't have, but there's no sugar added. Oh my God, it's so good. Preservative and vegan. Vegan. Okay. It has apple juice in it, mango, uh, pineapple, banana. I just grabbed it. It's got grass, uh, wheatgrass, root, kale, odorless garlic, parsley. Oh my God. It is so good. Never, about, never really thought about doing that too much. That might be old news. But it is very hard to get little children to eat vegetables. It's very nasty for them. So don't force kids to eat vegetables. Anyway, the book that I was reading was 365 Stories of the Bible. I wanted to finish Noah Art. As I was talking about lying to kids. So I didn't want to miss that. Um, last time we covered uh, God is Light. And God makes the sky when kids, you know, are scared to go to bed. They're scared of the dark. So I was teaching them that God made the dark because they think that monsters and other things made it. Um, we were discussing God makes plants and trees. So when they don't want to eat the vegetables, also let them know that he also created the vegetables. So God makes the sun and the moon and the stars. God arranges the lights in the sky to separate the day and the night the beautiful fiery sun gave light during the day and a cool bright moon with a sparkly star lighting up the dark night sky god makes fish birds god filled the sea with all the kinds of creatures some crawled along the sea bed or clung to others creatures Others have fins and tails and darted or swam or jumped through the water. God filled the sky with winged birds that called and cooned and chattered and tweeted. So tweeted on Twitter. I've seen kids on Twitter. And hopefully their mother is uh, going to let them tweet me because you can't tweet everybody and you can't look at everything on Facebook. God makes animals. Then God filled the world with animals before humans. Large, small, striped, pattern, smooth, and furry. Some lived on the ground and others climbed the trees. So that's the book. Now God's world was green and sunny and full of sounds of birds and animals. God was pleased with all he had made. We're going to be, remember I said I was going to be back to talk about Noah, so I didn't want to lie. So you have to try to practice what you preach. We're not perfect. God makes men and women. So I'm like, okay, God, what I'm going to wear, you know? So he didn't really want everybody to worry about what you're going to wear. You get more things done for God when you are not focused on your hair and not focused on your glasses or, uh, you know, because in school, some kids when they were younger used to call, be called four eye. It was called four eye before. Um, but God world was amazing, but God still felt something was missing. So he made people and a man and a woman to be his friends and look after all his creatures from the fish in the sea to the birds in the sky, to every creeping crawly thing that lives on earth. God rested. So God was the first one to take a break. So sometimes, uh, parents, please take a break with your children. If you can bills, that's why God did not want bills and clothes and all that because he wanted you to be home with your children 
Imagine making the heavens and earth and all the living creatures big and small. Not to mention all the different colors and patterns. That's a lot of work. God looked at everything he made. It was not only good, it was very good. So God took a well-deserved rest. Oh, um, it's showing Adam and Eve. Okay, we know Adam and Eve, the Bible was resonated in Africa. And the Bible was not called Africa. Okay, so it started Israel. We have Egypt and Ethiopian. Those are the main places that we see. And we know that Egypt is in the continent of Africa. So we know that the Bible did not start in Britain. So make sure you're teaching your kids uh, and giving the black people credit for the Bible. Because it starts with you. And if you have children that are lying and are stealing and grow up to be liars... You are a father of liars if you're teaching your children that God's hair was blonde. It said it was wool and white. So make sure you're teaching your kids and even having in this book what color they probably were close. It says his, his he was brass, a brass color. This is more of a brass copper type color. And his hair was wool like mine. Okay, that's wool. And when you when you look up wool, and it looks like yarn. If you find yarn in the store, it's wool. And God, for some reason, wanted our hair like this. And I didn't want to show nobody my hair like this. But when you live in, in America, women are starting to be embarrassed of their hair. Parents, please try not to put weave in your kids' hair. Um, please try not to do that. It, let them... Learn how to love their self. Just braid it. There was a child that put weave in the hair. And uh, it was a spider in her hair. And it ate a hole in her hair. I got to get that inf more information of that. But the Garden of Eden. God made the Garden of Eden with everything. Adam and Eve needed a clear stream with cool water to drink. And trees full of delicious fruit. God told Adam and Eve they could eat from any tree except the one in the middle of the garden. The sneaky serpent. One day a serpent came to tempt Eve. Did God tell you not to eat from the tree in the middle of the garden? God knows if you eat from this tree, you will become as clever as he is. Try it and you'll see. And so... This is where the snake comes in when these kids are watching TV and he's sneaking in all this these lies about Jesus is white and Jesus, you know, didn't you know the way he, the appearance of him and is sneaking in all kind of things in a cartoon that we don't even know about until we get older and you wonder why these kids see they get older they have problems because the, they have we the world has the curse of the snake and disobedient. When you tell your kids not to watch something and they watch it, you tell your kids to go to bed and they just won't go to bed. You tell them to clean their room and you are frustrated because you just got off work. It's because you have to teach them about Jesus and that it is naughty and disobedient of you to not listen to your parents. It says, Honor thy mother, thy father. Okay, and fathers do not provoke your children i'm trying to stay on point but i have it says worship him in the truth and the light so i'm trying to stay on point the first sin genesis 2 and 6 and uh um it says 2 and 6 eve looked at the beautiful ripe fruit she picked a piece and took a bite so you notice that apple a day keeps the doctor away and apples also represents teachers Okay, I'm a teacher right now. Okay, you always you always see an apple on that desk. And she picked a piece and took a bite. Then she shared some with Adam and he took a bite. When God called to them, they were ashamed and hid from him. They knew they had disobeyed him. They couldn't be God's friend anymore. Okay, so it's somehow... You don't criticize the teacher in the public school, but somebody's going to criticize me about 
teaching the truth about God. Adam and Eve punishment was God made the uh, serpent crawl on his belly for tricking Eve. God warned Eve she would feel pain when she had children. God told Adam he would have to work hard to grow food for his family. One day they would die. Everything had gone wrong because they would not trust God. Then God sent them away from the garden. And you don't want that to happen to your children. So you need parents to start with you. Please raise your children. Try to purchase this book, 365 Stories of the Bible. It's by Meg Wong and Heather Stewart. Okay, it's a story Bible. Perfect for bedtime, anytime, illustrated by the Bible for children to provide a short story for every day of the year. And I know it gets so difficult when you have to work. But in, in work, sometimes it, it, you make you mad at God because you don't want to go. And it really does make you angry. But that was not God's plan for us to go to work, wear clothes or anything. The way the world was, was supposed to go on the option of God. We were supposed to be all planned out. And so sometimes you you, you really don't need to have children. If you're not going to raise them up in the ways of God, when you don't have them. Because you're going to have all sorts of problems. And that's why we see people protesting. We see rioting. We see all kind of sin in this world. And things are going on in this world. And you blame it on God. Well, he didn't tell you to have the kids anyway. So you blamed it on God. And then we have kids and we, we were mean to them. We're blaming them and they didn't ask to be here. Okay. So this show is really for the parents and children together to watch together. That's what I'm thinking. This is for... And it's something how you get your kids a phone, you let them watch anything you they want to watch. But when you come to something, that's how you know you're chosen. When it comes to somebody really chosen by God to help your children, you're going to be offensive to that person. I am very qualified and well-trained. I've been in Sunday school since I was five. I was baptized when I was five. Filled the Holy Ghost at 17. That's all I know is Christ. And I thank God it's him that's pushing me because sometimes I don't want to do it. Your flesh doesn't. Just like the Bible, your flesh does not want to obey God. But when you're walking in the spirit of God and you're living, you're trying to live away from sin and you're trying your best to keep the commandments, He's going, you, you're going to be so blessed to keep going. And I thank God each and every day. Thank you, you too, for all your hard work and dedication. And God bless you. And to the children, when you feel discouraged, remember, yes, Jesus loves me. Yes, Jesus loves me. Yes, Jesus loves me. For the Bible tells me so. Now remember when you go to sleep, say one Lord, one faith, one baptism in Jesus' name. Amen. And remember, when you before you eat, say God is good, God is great. Thank you for this food or one Lord, one faith, one baptism in Jesus name. Amen. And we're going to cover some more later or I might be done. I don't know. It's up to God and God's will. Children, listen to your parents. Obey your parents. Clean your room up. Make it neat because your parents have feelings just like you and they cry just like you. But they have to be strong for you. So obey your parents, the ones who have the rule over you. So clean your room. Brush your teeth. Clean off the table. Do things without your parents asking so they can be around alone for a long time to buy you presents and take good care of you. And God bless you all, children. Yay! Thanks for watching. Till next time.